What's up, everybody? Your favorite man with an ultra ball has written a book. It's called My Very Happy Life, and it details my journey living with my rare cancer diagnosis known as Von Hippel Lindau disease. I want the book to inspire you and encourage you to reach for your dreams, and the best part is half of all profits are going to support the VHL Alliance in order to help raise awareness on VHL. Link to my book is in the description. I hope you enjoy it. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo hand trap stain off of that subscribe button so we can climb even further beyond the 1k ladder question mark we're currently sitting at 1106 subscribers so i guess to quote plankton from spongebob i don't know what to say i didn't think i'd make it this far <laughs> guys thank you so much for over 1100 subscribers we are 1100 hard i guess if we, or we can all be hard together i don't know hit the bell and the like button so we can all be hard together as we talk about hand traps in the meta i hope that all of you are having a wonderful day thank you so much for all your support it really does mean a lot so i wanted to talk about hand traps in the meta because i did like a top decks tier list but i haven't done one for hand traps in quite a while actually at least i think i have um so i wanted to talk about uh just hand traps in the meta you know kind of see where it is that hand traps uh, lie because I think honestly there's a lot of choices that you have to pick from in this brand new format that honestly I think is so much better compared to tier zero last format so starting off with the obvious ash blossom and of course the big old Dwayne the Rock Johnson and sphere mode by extension but Nibiru is uh, kind of better so is Kurakara but that's a little bit more niche so ash blossom and Nibiru I feel lead the charge this format you know, the thing is, is that I, I saw someone comment on uh, one of Robbie Cole's videos and, and they put it really perfectly about Cash Tira. You know, Cash Tira is high risk, high reward, right? You know, if, if you're going against Sprite as the Cash Tira player, you know, you need to have enough extenders in your opening hand to play through all of their fucking hand traps. Because I think they're still playing like 12 to 15, even some builds are probably even playing 18 hand traps just to beat the meta and just because they're full of one card to two card starters like the deck is and still just very much insane ash blossom is obviously a fantastic card you can even say it's generically good but it, it's just better than that because you could just play it in anything really nibiru by extension it just destroys the cash tira board cash tira if they don't have enough gas can lose to just one ash blossom believe me it's happened to my ass and nibiru of course being able to just destroy the cash tira board before they even get set up they have to summon so many times to get their board established and unless they're playing the adventure engine which even if they are if they can't establish the griffin rider then they're just fucked like it doesn't even matter the nibiru is going to destroy them now kurakara divine carnet is not on this tier list if it were on here i would say that it's uh side deck worthy i don't really know if it's better than nibiru it's very specific in the fact that it only tributes monsters that have activated their effects that turn so i would say it's more of like a side deck pick if you wanted to you know talk about kurakara or sphere mode sphere mode is more like roguish um it's just the problem that it has to tribute three monsters and it's more for like if you don't want to play hand traps because to quote valley d as he said to me one time you know you're already playing hand traps so you're expecting the opponent not to end on three bodies on the board so there's no reason for you to be playing fucking spear mode with a bunch of hand traps so there's that for you let's jump around a little bit here uh no material no material is booty booty butt cheeks <laughs> so uh yeah no material is just a flat out no for me no one's playing this card uh here's the thing with hand traps in general all of them will see play at some point throughout their lives you know hand traps have redefined Yu-Gi-Oh in that regard but no one's playing fucking no material i couldn't even tell you what this card does but like it's not seeing any play right now so yeah no i i have not played this in a deck and i think i don't think i've ever played it in a deck to be quite honest winter cherries I'm going to put this in side deck only because of the fact that people are going to be playing fucking 4D chess with their 15 card extra deck. Um, Winter Cherries can potentially be good. Um, MST TV did get his invite at a regional in Canada playing Winter Cherries, but he said that he would take it out because it just wasn't all that good. I feel like it's more of like a, like I said, a 4D chess thing. Like, it's amazing in mirror matches. You know, you reveal the Shangri-La if you're the Cash Tira player and the opponent loses their Shangri-Las and now they're not locking out your zones. But, I mean, outside of that, like, if you're going up against the meta, 
then you have to play those cards in your extra deck to beat those cards. And even then, you got to open the fucking cherries. So, like, if you don't open it, you're wasting the space in your extra deck. I feel like you're better off just playing two copies of, like, all of the cards in your extra deck that you want to have. So that one Diabolsis or one Unicorn just doesn't kill you. So, there's that. Um, let's see. Uh, ba 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 Cypher your Gamma. It's Rogue. It's... Like, it's kind of just whatever. Like, if I'm like, I'm playing Cash Tier, right? Like, if you Gamma me, I'm really not going to care. Because if you're popping my Unicorn, I'm just going to drop out an Ogre or a Fenrir and not give a fuck. We're just back in the same position we were in before. But you wasted a card out of your hand. Potentially, too, if you opened up both the Gamma and the Driver. Now you're playing with a four-card hand, and I can beat that. So, I don't know. It's it's cool, I guess. Uh, shifter is fucking just disgusting. I would put it in great, but I'm going to put generically good just because it can be played in so many different decks. Maybe generically good isn't, isn't a good way to put great and generically separate, but I'm not good at making names for rogue tier list or hand trap tier list, excuse me, but it is generically good. Like it's not really leading the charge like Ash and Nibiru are, but yeah, it can be played in a lot of different things. You can play it in stun. You can play it in flunder. You can play it in cash Tira. Even some Sprite Bills are playing this now. So, you know, no reason why you shouldn't knock out D-Shifter as, like, an option. Like, it, it's a very solid option. Uh, DD Crow, I was playing this before in Cash Tira, but it kind of just conflicts. Um, I'm not even going to put in Side Deck. I'm going to put in Rogue. You know, if, if like, everybody at your locals is playing fucking Cash Tira, you can play this, I guess. But you could just play the fucking Buy Seals. Also, I know the Buy Seals aren't on here. I guess that's something else I should include. I would put the Buy Seals in generically good. You know, if you're Cash Tira, you really don't need to play the Buy Seals. Also, the Buy Seals fuck you over because then you can't special summon your Cash Tiras. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, I would just say that the Buy Seals are generically good. No, nothing really to write home about with the Buy Seals because they don't really do anything against Cash Tira. So they're mostly meant for like Tier and maybe Sprite. And even then, maybe not Sprite because they don't even have Elf anymore. Uh, let's see here. Um, Spooky Dogwood is just for the side deck for if you go into time. Moonlit Chill, like, just, no, it's Booty Booty Butt Cheeks. Just play Valor. Valor seems so much better. Like, yeah, it has to go to Grave, but, like, Moonlit Chill is so fucking specific. Token Collector. Ha 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 ha. This card sucks ass. No, don't, don't play Token Collector. I've seen some builds, um, of Cash Tira playing Lancia because they don't want to get even lead. <sighs> But, like, outside of that, like, no one's really playing evenly. Like, maybe if you really absolutely rely on your graveyard, then you could play this against, like, Cash Tira to turn off their Arise Heart for the turn. But it's just for the turn, so I really don't know how I feel about it. I'd rather play, like, board breakers like Lavas, Evenlies, Lightning Storms to just break apart those boards. I don't really feel like Lancia gets the job done unless you're able to OTK the opponent. Um, Droll. Droll's a side deck card. I, I got hit by this once. Um... I don't even remember what the fuck I was even playing against, but like he hit me with this and I was just like, okay, thank you. I'm just going to use unicorn to hit a card out of your extra deck now. And then I just beat him like the next turn after the draw wore off. So <laughs> I don't really know what to say about this. Valor is just generically good. It's, it's solid. Like Valor, Valor should be respected that and imperm. These need to be respected. Like Lord have mercy. The, it, Valor and Imperm are just a fantastic combo. Like, yeah, Valor has to go to Grave. But, like, if you're not under a D-Shifter, this card is still disgusting. Uh, pfft, Phantomaze. Who remembers? Raise your hand. I don't care if you're on a bus, you're on a plane, you're in a car, you're sitting on the toilet. Raise your hand if you remember when Phantomazes were $60 plus. I know I do, boys and girls. That was toxic. Uh, don't play Skullmeister. It's bad. Herald of the Orange Light, it's, it's at one. It's garbage. Chaos Hunter is, uh, uh, I'm going to put this in Rogue. Like, I don't see a lot of people using this anymore. It was good against Tier, but, I mean, Tier got their nuts blown off by a 2x4 two, by two by shotgun or a 24 or whatever it is. Uh, Ghost Bell, Ghost Bell's Rogue. I don't I don't really see the reason to play this. Like, what are you stopping, a 1 of Kelbeck or an Aigido? Sure, Pimp, it's at 1. Like, if you're that scared of it, like, you do you, boo-boo. Don't play Ally of Justice, it's Liquid Ass. Ghost Ogre, Ghost Ogre is just in the booty, booty, ass cheek category, ladies and gentlemen. I don't see anyone playing Ghost Ogre anymore. Like, what are you going to Ghost Ogre? My Arise Heart's going to trigger, and I'm going to fucking, like, chain block you if it's my turn. So, like, you can't Ogre the Shangri-La. It's just going to protect itself. Like, you can use it as an E-Telly target to Synchro, like, I guess. Also, I guess I should say that at the end of this video. Like, this is all an assumption that you're not using these tuners, like the ones that are tuners, as like synchro material, because that's a whole nother 
like ballpark. This is strictly just based off of their effects, ladies and gentlemen. Like we're not talking like, oh, it's it's a good it's it's you know belongs in great because you could synchro with it. No, we're we're not talking about that shit. We're talking about you're strictly using it as a hand trap, whether it be sending it from the field or your hand to the grave or banish zone, wherever it can go to stop something. Um so yeah, I just I don't see the point for ogre. Which is a damn shame because like ogre Ogre's disgusting when like it does work, especially in a simplified game state. I mean, I feel like any hand trap is going to be good in a simplified hand state or a simplified game state. Um, but yeah, I feel like if you're not using something from the great or generically good category, like you're just kind of missing the mark, pimp. Like, uh, yeah, like all all of these just fall off. Like after these main five here in the great and generically good, like everything else is just sort of really meh. Which is really weird to think about that we basically have like five hand traps to pick from. Like, yeah, sure, there are some that are like niche, like, you know, Spooky Dogwood if you're going into time or Droll Not Bird or DD Crow. Like, I'm not saying that these cards are absolutely terrible. Alancia as well. I'm not saying that these cards are like just absolutely terrible. You should never play them. It's just they're not that good right now based on what the format is. So just, just take that for, for what you will. So, guys, let me know what you think. Was there any hand traps I missed? I, I don't know how to make a tier list. I just looked this shit up on Tier Maker and hope to God that someone actually knows what they're talking about when they're making these. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.